and I have certain rules now where I, I try not to talk about pastors in general, you know, yeah. just because I think there can be like this weird symbiotic relationship where there's hate watching that happens of them and then they get clout because there's hate watching and there's just weird relationship. I was just like, I'm just not going to play that game, oh. you know, because it's all ultimately all clip clicks, you know. Yeah. So, I, so, so that's one of the things like I seldom really talk about pastors now. You know, I was wondering why. I was gonna ask you why. Why yeah. you stop talking about pastors? Was there a particular situation, or like, what made you say I'm not gonna talk about pastors anymore? Because like, yeah, I met I met a lot of pastors that were great people. Okay. Because I I started traveling and meeting mega church pastors, and I was like, the majority of these dudes are great guys who love Jesus. And I don't want to use my platform to color people's lens of church and pastors as just the worst of the worst situations. Now, yeah. there's certain things we got to talk about because they're in the zeitgeist, right? Uh, a Robert Morrison and what that happened with that mm -hmm. that situation. But generally, I just I just don't. And I, you, you end up meeting people, and you're just like, oh, like these folks really love Jesus, yeah. you know? Yeah. I want people in churches, not out of churches. Right, right, I want right. people to to practice their faith, not become nihilistic about their faith. Mm. So that's something I've, I've personally adjusted hardcore is like, I just try not to talk about pastors as much. Yeah. The reason why I ask that too is because <clears throat> I think there's some people who are, you know, polemics is their thing. It's like finding what's not right and exposing the that false reality or false doctrine and showing what is true. And so I, I wonder for you, because in hindsight, there's a lot of like Christian watchdog pages and, and, and YouTubers who all they do is like try to expose people. And I'm wondering how you feel about that because you know I don't I don't think you're malicious I, I don't think that was the case but I I do think there w there's been a pe a trail of people behind you who are like oh this works you're totally right that you can create a culture of heresy hunting mm -hmm. you know let me expose the fault and the negative thing and the more I kept doing stuff I'm just like I, I we call it net positive content so I'd rather highlight a pastor and says look what he did right um, than say look what he did wrong. And so we made a hard pivot to move away from any exposure. This dude is wrong. You know, about a year and a half ago, like no more, no, no more celebrity pastor videos. Yeah. And if we're speaking on anybody, it's going to be a bunch of look what they did right. Okay. They did this, this, and this, and this, and this right. This is good. This is good. Praise God. Ah, they said this, and um, this is this is this is wrong. But I understand why they said that. But this yeah. is, but the rest of it. So so the, so so yeah. That positive. That's what we've been trying to yeah. do. And generally speaking, if you look at what we do now, the overwhelming amount of it is net positive. With the caveat, like we just did a video on the Passion Translation. Mm -hmm. We just kind of have fun with that. Like, yo, this dude's story is crazy. This is a bad translation. Yeah. Don't read it, you know? But generally, <laughs> it's going to be net positive. Yeah. <laughs> Let me just go back and say this. In terms of the like style of content I used to do, I am intentional of trying to befriend people that make that style of content now okay. to try and steer them into a... A better direction mm. if you will so a lot of the guys you see coming up bubbling i tend to be friends with and i've even seen some of the shift in their content 